Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, buenas noches, Ticha. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Vaya, al parecer está lloviendo bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Sí, sí está lloviendo. Sí, Ok. aquí también. Sí. Yes. Está mala la señal aquí. Sí. No le está pegando muy bien. No, a mí se me corta. Mm, ok. Vale. Vamos a tratar de eh, enfocarnos lo más que podamos. Solamente eh, pedirles que si no están utilizando el micrófono, por favor, manténganlo apagado. Únicamente solo cuando van a participar. Vaya. Y... Al igual que ustedes, yo tengo que tener encendida mi cámara. Ya la encendí. Por favor, si tienen algún inconveniente eh, con la conexión, con la cámara, háganmelo saber, ¿verdad? Para yo estar sabedor. Muy bien. Solamente permítanme revisar un dato acá. Vaya, sean todos bienvenidos a nuestra clase del día de ahora. De hecho, esta es nuestra quinta clase, como va avanzando el tiempo, ¿verdad? Esperemos que esta vez no tengamos que dar la clase el día viernes, porque el día viernes es nuestro día libre. ¿Ok? Vaya, solamente re permítanme revisar un dato. Vamos a ver qué dicen sus compañeros. Ok. Bye. El día de ahora vamos a iniciar con un tema nuevo. Y se lo voy a escribir en la... Eh, en el chat de Zoom. Dice Gabriela... Alvarenga, tengo problemas con la señal. Ok, Gabriela, gracias por notificar. El tema de ahora se llama eh, Common Jobs and Occupations. Common Jobs and Occupations. Ok. And let me just check something here real quick. Okay, uh, we are going to ask you one question and then we're going to move to the platform because we need to get advantage of it. All right, just give me some seconds. Vaya, si se levantan con hacer algo, siempre apaguen la cámara, ¿verdad? Porque pueden pasar por ahí ratones o qué sé yo, haciendo malabares. <laughs> <risa> Necesité levantarme, disculpe. Está bien, no se preocupe. Ok, uh, let's see. The question we're going to ask today is going to be the following. What's your job or occupation? Well, actually, we're going to ask a different question. What do you do? What do you do is in general. What do you do means what's your job or what's your profession? ¿A qué te dedicas en Spanish? Ok. Now, if I ask you, Julio, the question, what do you do? What will be your answer? Uh, Julio, you are mute. Excuse me. It's uh, okay. Uh, I don't work. Oh, you are retired, you uh, say, right? But, but, um, after I work in the before business in, in this business security. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now select one classmate, Julio, and ask ask the same question. What do you do? 
or what's your job? That's what it means. Who are you going to select? Yo, yo, yo tengo que hacer la pregunta para Exactly. Otro. To one of your classmates. Okay. Correct. I sent the picture to the WhatsApp group. You will be able to see it right there. Uh, let me see. How do you? Okay. Okay, Wilber, what do you do? Okay. I work electrician. Or okay. No se, no se pronuncia electricista. You can say I'm an electrician. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, Catherine, what do you do? Catherine, Tatiana, you're mute. Hello, excuse me, because I Hi. am answering a, a call, but um, my job is um, a secretary. No, no. Uh, okay. I work for a liar. All right. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario, what do you do? I do. Um, para decir en área administrativa, teacher, como... Okay, you can say in the human resources department, administration department. Administration. Department. Okay. Department. Or you can also say, I'm a business administrator. Okay. Uh, yes. Anna Lizeth Avalos, what do you do? Hello, teacher. Hi. I dedicate myself a teacher of education in a frame. What? Um. <laughs> Es que me dedico a educar en la fe, pero entonces soy teacher. Ah, okay. All right. Sí. So, are you are you Christian or are you Catholic? Are you Christian or or Catholic? No. Okay. Valeria Lopez, what do you do? Uh, Estil. What? Estil. No se te escucha. Estilista. Ah, stylist. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen because there are some pending pages that we need to complete. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Teacher, mm -hmm. what do you say is <clears throat> education and a faith in English? Uh, faith education. Faith education. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. It. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me read the instructions. It says write each sentence a different way, selecting the correct words. Okay. For example, I don't have a table in the bathroom. There is no table in the bathroom. Okay. Um, let's see. Julio, complete the number one, please. It says I have some shares in the kitchen. Um, tengo una tienda. Ay, me agarrado. Así un poco desubicado. <laughs> It's okay. Ah, there is. I have some chai in the kitchen. Tengo una tienda. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no chai mm -hmm. in the kitchen? No. No. There is, there, there is a, a. There is a. Mm -mm. No. There no. are some no. shares. Yeah, Wilbert, continue with the number two. Uh, I have uh, see, I have a stove in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um, 
There's no stop in the kitchen. No, the analysis. <clears throat> there are some. There are some. No. There is a stop. The kitchen. Um, Erika Johanna Navidad. There's a... I don't have a refrigerator. Uh -huh. Valeria Lopez. Mm -hmm. Sí. Nombre, nombre cuál, qué número vamos? La uno, Number three. Nombre tres. Sí. Casi no me dio la letra, ticha. Okay. I don't have a refrigerator. I don't there, have a refrigerator. Sí. There are. There is no. A refrigerator. Sí. Gabriela Alvarenga, continue. Cuatro. Yes. There's no. I don't have curtains on the windows. Uh huh. There's no. Okay, solo para para clarificar. Esto lo vimos la vez pasada. There is es para singulares. There are para plurales. I don't have curtains on the windows. There are no curtains on the windows. Number five, Ana Esmeralda. I don't have any rocks on the floor. There's no. One more time, complete the sentence. There's no room on the floor. floor. No, Julio. Uh, there, there are no roofs on the floor. Thank you. Okay, there you have the answers. Let's continue. By the end of this class, you will develop a skill in scanning and reading for details. Okay, we're going to watch and listen to this video. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. A few special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her... Chicos, se escucha el ruido que alguien está usando el micrófono. Si no le están usando, por favor, pónganle mute. Her house is too colorful. 
but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the knowledge check. It says instructions, read the text from the list, select the correct articles from each house. You don't need to type the period at the end. Instructions, lee, lea el texto del listado, seleccione los artículos correctos de cada casa. No es necesario escribir el punto final. Okay. Uh, there you have three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds in the floor, wood burning stuff. Uh, I need the, I need you to select these options that you're going to see here. You have these options and you are going to complete the sentences. From one to, let's see how many do we have? From one to three. Uh, I need a volunteer to complete the first one. Who's ready? Uh -huh. Disculpe, ¿en qué sección está eso? Uh, you need to read this page and you are going to complete from one to three. Section two, section dos. Oh, entonces, la primera sería, there is a porch with a pink floor. There is a porch with a pink floor. Okay, thank you. Okay, who's ready for the number two? Nidia, go ahead. There are color painting. Okay. Colorful paintings. Okay, Jenny, continue with the next one. Three. There are many books. Thank you. Continue, Catherine, Tatiana. Okay, there, there is a wood burning stuff. Okay. Good burning, good burning stuff. Wood, wood burning stuff. Thank you. Next. Who's ready for the next one? Aha, uh -huh, Jenny, Jasmine. There are three chairs. There are three shirts. Yes. Okay.
And the uh, next one. Uh huh. There are two beds in the floor. Thank you. Okay. Uh huh. There is one. Born and stuff. Hay un asterisco por ahí va. Vamos a ver. Sí, teacher, el guión es va junto, no separado. Hmm. Ok, vamos a ver. Va, ahí lo puse junto. Good. En good lleva el, el guión también. En good es teacher. Ok, gracias. Mm, vamos a revisarlo. Wood burning stuff. Ok. ¿Será porque lo estoy poniendo con mayúscula? Al burning le falta la G. ING, right? Thank you. Yay! There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the next lesson. The next lesson is going to be related to, just give me some seconds. Okay. Uh, Jenny, you are going to read the objective for this lesson, Le lesson number three. Once you can see the computer screen, just let me know, please. Be the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common house. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different houses do. Okay. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities uh, that different jobs do. All right, let me go ahead and play this video. Once you can see it, just let me know. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. 
Now let me write some additional vocabulary which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, let me share the PowerPoint presentation I prepared for you today. And that is related to jobs and occupations. I also sent to you a list of, uh, I mean, I sent you the picture to the WhatsApp group. Do you receive it? Lo recibieron? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see. There you have jobs and occupations. These are occupations. Okay. And these ones are jobs. These are jobs. All right. For example, this is a waiter. Paramedic, dentist, train, conductor, nurse, electrician like uh, Wilbur, doctor, businessman, American football player, student, surgeon, Derman, and this is a Mason, reporter, Scientist, I believe this is a mechanic, pilot, and let's say teacher. That's going on here. And you have occupations. This person is a boxer, a cameraman or photographer, let's say. This is a detective, a journalist, housewife. A diver, pope, priest, salesman, librarian, curate, and singer. Questions? No. Okay. No. What's your favorite a job or or occupation, Jenny? Carla Susana, what's your favorite job or occupation? My favorite job is dating. Okay. Julio, what's your favorite job or occupation? Uh, my favorite job uh, is a uh, doctor. Okay. Mm. Annalise, what's your favorite job or occupation? My favorite uh, occupation is singer. Okay, Jenny Yasmin, what's your favorite job or occupation? 
My favorite occupation is nurse. Nurse. Consuelo del Rosario, what's your favorite job or occupation? My favorite occupation. Occupation. Occupation is um, breathing. A uh, priest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Nidia Jamilet, what's your favorite job or occupation? <coughs> My favorite occupation is a doctor. Okay. Flor de Maria Montalvo, what's your favorite job or occupation? Mm -hmm. Dentist. Dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and continue with the platform. Once you can see it, just let me know. We're going to move to the knowledge check. It says instructions. Look at the picture and answer correctly about the profession of each one. Remember capital letters are necessary. Addish, uh, adding the period at the end is not necessary. Okay, there you have. Oh, the pictures are not being shown. Solo que tenemos que esperar porque las imágenes no se muestran. There you go. Mm. Okay. So, number one. Uh, what's his job? He's a father. Okay. So there you have, he's a receptionist, he's a doctor, or she's a nurse. So number one, he's a receptionist. Number two, she's a doctor. And number three, she's a nurse. So, number one, what's his job? He's a pilot. He's a pilot. So let's use the contraction, he's a pilot. No sé si me lo va a agarrar esta coma. Vamos a ver. Creo que sí. Bueno, let's try. So, what's her job? She's a flying attendant. Are you sure? Oh, let's Music. see. Musician. Musician. Musician? Musician. What's his job? He's a musician, yes. And... Number five, she is a flight attendant, right? She is a flight attendant, attendant. Okay. It says instruction, capital letters are necessary. Okay, pilot, flight attendant. Okay, number six, he's a musician. Number seven, what's her job? Singer, singer, singer. 
Okay. She is a singer. Number eight was her job. She say. Judge. Judge. Okay. A number. Number nine was his job. He is a lawyer. A police officer. Mm, police officer. Okay, number ten. He's a lawyer. What's his job? He's a lawyer. Lawyer. Okay. Number 11. What's his job? He's a cook. He's a cook chef. He's a cook or chef. Number 12, what's his job? He's a waiter. Number 13, what's his job? What's her job? He's a waitress. She. She's a waitress. Okay. Number 14, what's her job? I'm sorry, what's his job? He is a salesperson. El salesperson, un vendedor, ¿verdad? Number 15, what's her job? She's she, a cashier. She, she's a cashier. Number 16, what's her job? She say? Security guard. Guard. Va, veamos si los acepta con minúsculas. Yay, great job, we got 10. Okay. Thank you guys with the knowledge check and let's continue. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. And I'm going to play the video, okay? I want you to take notes and this is a topic that we have already studied before. And you are going to just double check this video as a review, go ahead. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class we'll talk about a reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? 
where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English and notice the reduction of do and does. Okay, guys. Now, since we have watched that video, Let's go ahead and review uh, that specific topic. Do you remember that on the previous classes, we were uh, asking and answering WH uh, questions using do and does? All right. Do you remember the time expressions that we have in the simple present? Can somebody tell me what are the uh, present time expressions? that we have. Give me some examples, please. Anybody with some uh, simple present time expressions? Uh-huh. Any volunteer? Um, where, where, I, where do you work? No, what I'm asking is the present time expressions. Wow. Expresiones del tiempo, ¿cuáles son las que estu estudiamos? Este es un repaso de lo que ya vimos. Do or does? No, esos son auxiliares. No. What time do you go to sleep? No. Esos son eh, lo, las rutinas diarias. Mm, we work. Las expresiones de tiempo son ahora, now, right now, today. Every day every week, every month, daily, weekly, monthly, and annually. Those are the time expressions that we have, okay? And we also have some WH words. When do we use the word when to ask about what? When? Are we going to use, are we going to use that one? Si tienen encendido el micrófono y no lo están usando, desactivenlo. Si escucho una película, no sé qué están viendo, noticias. Oswaldo, thank you. When is for us for time? I'm sorry? When? Use, use to us for time. Okay, so we use when for time. When do we use where, Anna? Anna? Teacher, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Somebody else, when do we use where? To ask about Me? what? Yes? Uh, we can use where when we want to know about places or address. Exactly. We use where when we want to know about places. Thank you. And when do we use why? Any volunteer? Why? Me? Mm -hmm. When we ask like a question, 
Okay, but when are we going to ask that type of question? No. Why? Uh huh. Ajá, Oscualdo. For reasons. When do we use uh, let's see who and whom? When do we use who or whom? When we speak about uh, some things, for example, we have two options. Okay. Uh, and when do, actually we use which to ask about options, but when do we use who and whom? That's the question. Oscualdo? When we ask for people. To ask about people. Okay, excellent. So we use when to ask about time, why to ask about reasons, which to ask about choices, whom and who to ask about people. One is formal and one is informal. We use what to ask for information. We use where to ask about places. We use who's to ask about possessions and we use how to ask about processes. Okay. Now, I sent you a list of questions that you need to ask to your classmates. Let me go ahead and stop here uh, sharing the computer screen. And let's see, I need volunteers. Vale dices, tengo mala señal. Uh -huh. I need some volunteers. Any volunteer? Yes, Yarixa, who are you going to select? Yarixa? Yes, can you hear me? I can. Okay, I need to select uh, somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, maybe Carla. Mm -hmm. Carla Galeas. Okay. Hi. Okay, Aha, Carla. So, hmm? ah, her. No entiendo. <laughs> okay, les mandé una lista de preguntas al WhatsApp. Oh. Solo van a leer esas preguntas y las van a responder. Oh, perdón. Cualquiera. Correcto. A ver. Why soccer? Why soccer team do you like? Uh, I don't like any soccer team. Okay. And now I need to ask a question to her? Yes, to somebody okay. else. Uh, so I need to choose somebody else or, mm -hmm. okay. So, Julio or Andres. Okay. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of movie do you like? What kind of movies? What kind of movie do you like? Uh, 
I like romantic movies and fiction, fiction movies like Harry Potter and Twilight. Okay. okay. Uh, select another person, please. Okay. Uh, um, Catherine Tatiana. Okay. When do you go on vacation? When or where? Yes. Where, okay. where do you go on vacation? Uh, uh, sometimes I go to Guatemala with my family. Okay, thank you. Catherine, oh. ask the question to Wilbur. Carla, tienes encendido el micrófono, se escucha interrupción. Catherine, ask the question to Wilbur. Ok. Ok. Eh, Wilbur, eh, what time do you go to work? Uh, ¿Me puedo repetir la pregunta? What time do you go to work? Um, I go to work at um, 7 a.m. Thank you. Wilbur asked the question to Nidia. Um, um, where, where do you, where do you study? Mm. No entiendo muy bien la pregunta. ¿Dónde estudias? I am studying in my house. I study in my house, okay. Eh, Nidia, ask the question to Julio. Julio, when do you go on vacation? I go to uh, on vacation to beach. No, when? Cuando? Excuse me. Um, I go on vacation. Cuando? Cuando? I. On the beach. No, cuando? No, donde? Don, donde is where? Pero ella le está preguntando when. I I go to do you go on weekends? Do you go on, on on August or do you go on December? When do you go? Eh, <laughs> in realidad no no. You don't uh, go in December. I go in December. I go with travel. Oh, you travel in December. Thank you. Anna asked the question to Jenny Yasmin. Uh, Anna Lizeth, yes, to Jenny Yasmin. Okay. Uh, Jasmine, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? Perdón, no le entiendo. ¿Cómo deletrea su apellido? How do you spell your last name? You spell it. You spell it. Mm -hmm. A. Uh -huh. 
Ajá. No, no sé, teacher. Perdón. Ok, it's okay. Oswaldo, how do you spell your last name? Spell my last name M O R A L E S. Thank you. So let one classmate ask a question, Oswaldo. Uh, Analyzed. How often do you do exercises? No. How often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercises? ¿En qué parte está esa? Eh, es que no tenemos que memorizar los chicos, tenemos que entender por lo menos el contexto. Ahí le pregunta qué tan seguido haces ejercicios. Sí, él está buscando la pregunta. Pero um, no, tratemos, no tratemos de memorizarlo, yeah. porque si no, mm -hmm. cuando tengamos la oportunidad de hablar con alguien, alguien que no hable español, no, mm -hmm. no va a tener la oportunidad de tener subtítulos a la mano ni algo escrito, ¿verdad? Ellos solo le van a preguntar. Entonces, tenemos que irnos acostumbrando. Bueno, uh, thank you, teacher. I offer my exercise. Oh, yeah. mm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. I sometimes do exercises. Anna, mm. select one of your classmates. Um, mm. I will be. Okay. Wilber, uh, what brand of car do you, do you prefer? No escucho muy bien, se escucha como cortada la pregunta. What brand of car do you prefer? ¿A qué horas hago el desayuno o algo así? No. Es que escucho bien cortado, perdón, escucho bien cortado. Dice, what brand of car do you prefer? Uh, lo siento, no sé qué responder, perdón. What brand of car do you prefer? Do you prefer Lamborghini? Do you prefer Toyota? Do you prefer Ferrari? Do you prefer Nissan? Do you prefer Honda? What uh, brand of car do you prefer? I prefer um, Nissan. Okay. Wilbur, select one of your classmates. Consuelo. Uh -huh. uh, permítame, bus busque la pregunta. Uh, but how many how many people are there in your family? How many people are there in your family? Are there five, two, one? Are there, are there four? There are four. Ok. Thank you, guys. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Vamos a seguir practicando ese tipo de preguntas. Les mandé 40 preguntas. Tradúzcanla para que sepan qué es lo que significa. Y vamos a seguir practicando. Quiero que se vayan acostumbrando solo al inglés. Ya van a pasar sí. al nivel 3 y en el nivel 3 ya nos vamos a tener que ir despojando del español, ¿ok? Si no han cenado, buen provecho and see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye. you. Thank you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.